In this short video, I am going to demonstrate how to create and use an ASP.NET user control on the C1 website. I am using a C1 demo website open in Visual Studio 2010. And I am going to launch the website on Visual Studio's internal web server by pressing F5. Before you begin, make sure that Firefox is your default web browser. Also, in the start options of your website, make sure that the NTLM authentication option is disabled. And in the build options, you've selected no build for the start action and disabled build the website as part of the solution. This done, let's get started. First, let's create the user control. I have already created one. This control is very simple and it does nothing but outputs hello world on a page. Next, let's launch the website by pressing F5. This is the page I'm going to use my control on. To do this, let's log into the administrative console and edit the page. To get the control onto the page, use the function called load user control. For this, switch to the source code. Select the place where you want to insert your function. Click insert function markup. Expand all functions, composite, asp.net and select the function. In the path parameter, Specify the relative path to the control on the website and click OK. Now save and publish the page. Now get back to the page and refresh it. Here it is. Hello world. The user control is working just fine. And this is it for now. If you have any questions, please visit our website at www.composite.net or follow us at twitter.com slash composite c1.